congratulations. From wherever in the world you've come, you have arrived at a place of destiny. The experience you are about to enjoy will be remembered for the rest of your life. From where you're seated comfortably in your own vehicle, you will see sights that will amaze and delight you, perhaps even inspire a sense of awe, as it did for President Ulysses Grant. After bringing his family up the same path you now travel, the view from the summit inspired him to say, Man seems so small when you look at the universe. And believe us, if it's a clear day when you're making this ascent, it will seem like the whole universe is spread at your feet. And if that's not enough, from now on, you'll have the classic bumper sticker badge of honor that declares proudly, this car climbed Mount Washington. So settle in for a journey up a mountain and back in time to a world above treeline, where history is always in the making, and now you're a part of it. Hey Todd, what are you most excited about on this little trip to New Hampshire? I am most excited about getting to the top of Mount Washington in one piece. Are you I will definitely make it in one piece. Maybe an hour and 15, I don't know. I was hoping that you would have higher standards for yourself, closer to 115. An hour and a half seems like a fucking long time. To do nothing but climb, yes. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take you an hour and a half. It might not. I don't know how long. I'm it hoping that it doesn't. Yeah. Not yeah, maybe that's what you're doing. practice ride, right? So I know. Just to pace myself and see just what's going where. I'm not really racing. I understand. Now. And so. race day, you will automatically take at least some time off because the adrenaline and the excitement of race day, you always push harder on race day. I'm most excited about Darcy. I can't wait to go out for breakfast tomorrow morning. I know it's not even dinner time yet tonight, but I can't wait. I love breakfast. I'm going to get eggs and fresh toast. No bacon. Ah, mi comida era fantástico. Mi estómago es grande ahora. There's a mountain view and a porch. I'm right in the backyard. I just locked it again in case the boogie man. The boogie man. What town are we in again? Intervale. Here we are. You turn the TV on and it's the speed channel. Yeah, you know you're in New Hampshire when. It says record, but I don't see your picture. Have I done something wrong? Oh yes, it helps if you take that thing off. Oh, very, I knew something must be wrong. Okay, see Todd, tell us how you're feeling today. It's your day to go up the mountain. I'm uh, feeling pretty good. I'm uh, still a little nervous, but <laughs> I think once I get there, I'll probably calm down. What the hell's up with my bed head? Jeez. Here we are approaching the mountain. Oh boy, who can wait? How you doing, see Todd, you ready? I'm ready. Eight degrees with winds at 14, so it's kind of warm. But kind of windy. 14 degrees, not 14. 14 mile per hour? That's so windy. But that's. I know it's Mount Washington, but up for up there. Yeah. But compared to what we're used to on like regular roads? Oh, yeah. That's kind Bedhead. of. Bedhead. Jeez. Kind of windy. Uh, yeah, but. Alright, what's the diagnosis? Oh, the cassette's loose. This is one thing I didn't check yesterday. And I see, like, basically that the, this has gotten so far loose that the first cog came off. Holy shit. And so the chain was stuck between that and the frame. And I was like, oh, that's a problem. I was like, I'm glad this happened now and not, like, when I'm on some, like, 20% grade and I'm oh, no dying. Go shoot. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to make a video of myself and I just took a picture of myself. That was good. <laughs> See, Todd's off warming up. And then we're going to do this. We're going to drive slash ride up the mountain. Oh my god. The sun is looking like it's going to come out too, which is going to be much better.
You're eating and drinking? This is relentless. You made it further than I thought you were going to make it by this point. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. He said it's hard in case you guys didn't hear. It's now 7.32 in the morning and here's the road over here. Can you see that? Oh boy, this dirt part looks tough. Can I get you a drink? I think I'm good. Uh, I should be okay. I made it. <laughs> Here you go. How did it feel? Oh, it was hard. It was? But I made it. Yeah, and it'll help you for the race. Yeah. What'd you learn? Uh, I learned how to pace myself and where, yeah. to pace myself and where the climb is, so. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. You look no worse for the wear, see, Todd? Thank you, Darcy. You look good. Dude, it's pretty sweet driving up this road. I didn't know you had to go on dirt parts. Uh, yeah. Did you know that before? I did. Oh, I didn't. I'm so excited. I had such a nice drive up here. It was super duper fun. Good. There's one part where it is so narrow. I was like, I hope to God another bike rider or a car doesn't come. And, there, and there's a cliff. It's Tuesday, June 12th. It was so steep. I really can't wait to do that again. That climb was absolutely awesome. I cannot wait for the race on July 7th. A big thanks to IBC teammate Darcy for being fantastic support. So I knock on the window of the uh, the booth. I'm like, excuse me, from over there I thought I saw some porta potties and now I can't seem to find them. He said, oh yeah, they're on the other side of the building right over there. I was like, oh, thank God, I thought the venting machine was the porta potty from far away, I thought. But then when I got closer, obviously I had seen the row of porta potties, really. But this little building was blocking it all. It was so funny. I knocked on his window. I was like, hello. It was very funny. He's probably like, who the hell is this girl? She must be from Boston. <laughs>